What's going on guys, Boat here, welcome to my third video for the Rune Society and today this one will be slightly different than my other ones but of course it is always the same and today I'm actually on my own account which the stats are there for anyone who doesn't know me. Today this video will involve me in non-skull PKing but still risking a lot more than other people. If I quickly sum this up in a few words, if I see people non-skull PKing in Bar Bandos, sorry, risking about 300k, they're not worth fighting because they're in the max gear risking about the same as you, it's unfair. So of course I am risking 1 million GP, unschooled, and actually the highlights of this is going to be, I'm PKing with the new fire kit, which is the Top Car Cal, don't think there's been a PK commentary yet up on the Rune Society with this, but I really do like this cape, and I've got the Berserker Review, Dragon 2H, and the Amulet of Fury, and I may actually exchange that Dragon 2H out later on in the episode for a pair of Dragon Claws, and I should be back in a moment with my first fight, guys, so I hope you enjoy. Okay guys, got my first fight and I believe I'm in world 65 and I've already been rushed. As you can see, this guy has stepped up to the challenge without me sculling, so that is uh, great for him. I really do enjoy people that don't that I don't really mind that I'm unsculled or not. I'm still risking a lot and maybe I'm dead because I thought he was actually vengeanced. Okay, I was hoping to hell he would not hit a 651 then because I would not have been a happy bunny. I would have been dead and a dead bunny is not a happy one. Please do not drink another attack potion. I wouldn't have been happy. But getting ready with the uh, D2H and the Granite Maul to actually hit a nice hit, which is a three. And he's going to spec me again. 411, is he going to hit me again? Yes, he is. So I'll quickly chomp on a food. And if I pull my brew down here, that allows me to click a lot of things at once like this. And this click like a peasant and hit a zero. And if I was vengeance right then, this guy's life would have expired into about a tree, and I would have been happy because I would have killed him. And if I risk this, that is a vengeance, my friends, so we're going to quickly do that. And I'm alright, so if I quickly chomp on those, chomp on these potions, if I eat the potions and drink the food, I will heal up quickly. And let's do a nice risk for you all. Horrible risk. Could have killed him, but it didn't, so yeah. Let's ignore it happened. Do I have a spec? No, I don't. But my D2H can still, still deal damage, so as long as I'm risky... It's all good. I like to take risks because it makes PKing more exciting. I don't mind if I die. I mean, for all I mean, I only lose a mil, which is a fair bit of money. And this lag is very bad that I can't time things that well. So that kind of sucks. But yeah, I don't really mind losing a mil for people because a mil isn't an, a huge amount for me. That's probably really bad. Oh, that's beautiful. Why can't you reach my vista 450 with a D2H? That was amazing. Sorry for shouting, but that's kind of frustrating. Come on, hit my vengeance. No. A one. A one. And he hasn't hit my Venge off yet, so that's good, that's good, come on. And now, these hits are bad, where's the 450? I want another one! I think it was beautiful! Just gonna do it straight away. Go on, go on! Eee, no! Risk it, risk it, don't you risk it, he's got a Phoenix Necklace. <sighs> Close one, right, 425, he's level 94, so we'll give him that risk. Okay, let's hit that, and take that off, and take that off. Oh, good fight there, mate, and if he didn't kill him then... He probably would have killed me because my armor was off. Anyways, good fight to that guy. Respect that you're level 94. And you'll still fight me even though I'm unscold. And that is the first fight of this video. Ooh, a press flask. I think I'll be taking that as well. Oh, another one. I'll have that as well. Anyways, I'll be back in a moment with another fight, guys. And I hope you enjoyed that one. Okay, next fight. And I actually attacked this guy, like, by mistake. So I don't know how I'm unscold. But that's alright. I mean, I'm not forced if I was scold. I probably would have run away. But... I have no Phoenix Necklace, so I do have to actually watch this guy's hits, because if he hits high, I will die. And I don't like dying to people that look like rushes, so if I take some nice risks, and hopefully... I mean, I might die. Taking risks, I don't mind. If I can take a nice risk, I don't really mind dying. He's going to spec me now, because he doesn't... Oh, maybe he won't spec me. Yep, there we go. That's a decent time to spec, but he also spec twice in a row. And now, my friends, he is tabbing back to the flax field, unless I do this. And pulverize his face! That was amazing. I am. That was amazing. You know what? You give me that loot. I don't even care. That I got absolutely nothing. I am just in love with those hits right there. That, my friends, I'm going to go and sit in the corner of my room and watch that clip on repeat until I turn 62. And now for the downfall of the commentary. Hopping to world 18 to get rushed 500 times and probably turn into a pencil. Okay, next fight, just to spice the video up, I really do love fighting Kanek Maulers, and why? Because this guy is already dead. Close, but it would have been a good call if he did actually die then, but I love fighting Kanek Maulers, I don't know why, it's kind of a love-hate thing. They do ridiculously high damage on you, which means I can bounce ridiculously high vengeance, but they are extremely scary to fight. <gasps> Click everything! No, 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 these those hits were too good. I'm sorry, they were very good. But yeah, they hit really, really high, which means I get into it a lot more. I, I get scared playing a game when I fight these people. Now, of course, I don't really care if I die to him, but it's just... They're so overpowered that they're just... Oh, look at this! It's ridiculous! But 
It's they're just so overpowered that you just get a really fun fight, and I'm already dead because I can't even click my rock tails. But it's all good, I've got three food left, so this fight kind of sucked, but here we go, watch this now, and if I click that, click that, and click them all, and click everything in the world, he's already dead. See what I mean? So fun to fight, you see, I, oh, they're just too good. Give me that cement and I stick my dice in, and I should be back in a moment with another fight. That guy destroyed me, but that's alright, as long as I stay alive and win the fight, I am very happy. Back in a moment. And while I secretly cough off the mic, welcome to the next fight. I don't know why I started like that, never mind. Well, let me start this again. Okay, guys, next fight. And 32 Bolt Racks isn't looking too healthy, so we could be using a quick kill here. But this guy is a fan of my videos, and he fought me because it is me. So good luck to Pika of all. Please do not actually spec me now. If he did, I should have gone through with my risk. But nope. My gut decided differently. You, my dear friend, are the worst PK I've ever seen in my life. I haven't even eaten off 289. The only reason that I almost died there is because I was waiting for the rusher to explode. Anyways, thank you for this guy for getting off. Show some respect there that he's not going to quickly kill me. But 20 bolt racks, it's looking horrible. I'm going to be camping my D2H. No, please don't be GSS 464. That's good, that's good, that's good. That is beastie hits. Please be no. Never mind, he didn't die. Oh, right, okay, so range XP is looking nice, my vengeance is almost recharged, and let's call that my vengeance time. Hit everything, hit zeros with everything, pull my D2H back out, venge, go on, go on! Oh, I thought I actually thought I had him there, not sure why, but it's rare. Okay, 15 racks left, and I'm off the primary hit with my D2H, hopefully hit something high, that'll have to do. 500! That's a G mall. My dear friend, that was a good combo, and I was not ready for that. Good fight to you, and I will be back in a moment with another fight, but I need to rebuy some god armor. So, back in a sec. Just a quick fact about me. I only ever seem to die to Rambo hits or a Granite Maul. Bandos boots are 100k, are you serious? Why are they so cheap? Okay, it's been about 15 minutes since my last fight because the Ragger in one item account has increased to about 17 people per amount of trees in the wilderness. And if you want to go and count all the trees, that is a fair amount of one itemers. But anyways, uh, good luck to this guy. First fight in a while, so if I actually cast a Vengeance now and not die, maybe he will explode. He didn't quite explode, that guy exists, but like I didn't really say in the last clip because I deleted it, that was horribly bad, don't even know what happened. The combo was rather nice though, D2H is here, 650. Oh my days! I did not even expect that, but that, my friends, just made this commentary so much more better. Horrible switch. Let's ignore the switch, though, and focus on that 460. I liked it. Anyways, I will be back in a moment for one more fight, and I'll try and get it a claw to g Mall combo, which actually works so that I can make this video amazing. Oh, I know glory on me. Okay, next fight, and now we are fighting a rapier, and rapiers, if I didn't already say it in this video, I don't know if I did or not, are extremely painful, so unless my bench, see if he hit like a 400 on me then, he would have died. No, of course he doesn't have 400, but anyways, uh, as you can see, I now have my draconic, 79, seriously, right, I now have my draconic claws and my granite mall to do some damage, I've actually banked my D2H. I'm just in the mood to get a claw kill, not a D2H kill, and I just kind of want to kill someone before dying, so let's just hope it actually goes well. He's DDSing me, the DDS normally hits extremely high on me, but so far we're getting lucky. Come on, one more risk, one more risk, and again, and again. Oh, it was close, it was close. Anyways, right, okay, let's get my potions back up into the uh, the green zone. I don't know why I called it that, but maybe it will be the green zone. If I did venge then, he possibly wouldn't have died, so that's alright, I didn't waste my venge. Okay, I'm getting ready for my claw spec, which is now. And you say I've been nodded! Thank you for pulling out Granite Mall. It was amazing. So now I shall have another claw spec to not waste now. And yeah, good slice. If he died then, I would have been very happy. But yeah, game doesn't really like me at the moment. I'm pretty sure I clicked the G Mall, but it's World 18 lag for you. It's very, very horrible. Now, now, 368 has to be dead. Good fight there, mate. Oh, the problem with that clip is... It's a prod kill. Don't like claw spec KOs. They're very, they're very boring unless I go for them all and he dies in the first spec. As you can see, that clip was horrible. So I refuse to end the video with that clip. So I should be back in a moment with one last fight. Okay, next fight, fighting this guy who appears to be soul splitting, which is horribly bad in my case because I'm going to hit nothing. So hopefully he'll take it off. Probably won't, knowing my luck. 
which is a no, so we're just going to calm room with the power of the rune, well, sorry, the cake, blech, the Carol's crossbow. Hopefully I'll be able to deliver more damage on him, but overall he should be able to deliver more damage onto me because he has a more powerful weapon, but I mean, at, the, at this rate I'm hitting like 200 every single hit, so that's uh, kind of good for the soul split, so here we go, here we go, this is why I, I hate soul split fights. I really do rely on venge combos a lot, and when someone hits huge on my vengeance and they have soul split, they heal all the health back and then they don't die, and then I die. That is a pair of dragon claws. If I click that, he hits a 1 on me, and that's good. Is he going to teleport? Hopefully not. If he does, I won't be happy. Now let's get the corner of those claws, and get right next to the venge, and that will do. Couldn't click him. Couldn't click him. The skeleton had to exist. So, I've still got a venge on. If I do it now, I will turn this guy's face into a pencil! If he survived that, I'm sorry, I would have cried, because that was a 460 XP drop. With Dragon Claws, and I'm very happy with that one. So, I ended the video as I like to. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Probably not as good as my other ones, but hey, it's a video, and I really do hope you enjoyed it. So, please leave some comments this time. I don't really ask for comments or anything like that, but please leave some comments if you enjoyed this video, and I'll probably try and get another one like this out next time. And I will see you all later. Peace!